What's up, gamers? We're back to potato mystery solving in Disney Dreamlight Valley. The April update brought with it two new potatoes for us to find and turn into potions, and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do for the blue and orange potatoes today. The blue potato can be found in Ursula's house, just chilling on the floor there. I've been trying to read all of the descriptions for clues about what these potatoes are all about. So this one says, a blue potato with a slight magical glow. Just holding it makes you feel a little bit lighter. Okay, so once you have that potato, you're going to head off on a journey to different locations to find some mysterious blue objects. First, head to Moana's realm. When you arrive, you'll see this little opening to the right, and you can see a little island off in the distance. That's where you're going to want to head. There's sort of an invisible maze that you'll have to navigate through and it's very annoying, but you want to keep heading toward the right. I made the mistake of going left at first and got stuck for a while, but you actually want to make your way around to the other side of this little island and here you'll find a blue shell, a shimmering blue shell. When you put it to your ear, you hear the sound of a distant ocean. Now make your way out of the maze and head over to that raft from where we got Ariel. Once you're on the beach where you found Ariel, you're going to head to the tip of this little peninsula here and you'll find another super annoying maze. Uh, make your way through that and you'll find the blue starfish. This definitely isn't from Ariel's collection. Next you'll head to the mysterious cave on Dazzle Beach and head all the way down to the bottom. There is a small opening between these stones uh, where you can walk through the water. And here you'll find the blue book. The cover is blue, the pages are blue, the text is blue, not exactly a page turner. Okay, so the last location we need to visit is the mines. When you arrive, head left and make your way through the mines past the purple mushrooms. Hang a right and you'll see one of the dead ends with the broken track. At the end of it, you turn left and you'll see a night thorn that you can actually cross and pick up a blue gem. This gem glows when it's close to the other blue gems. It's almost like they belong somewhere together. So that's a hint for the next place that we need to go. All right, now that you have all the blue objects, you'll need to find this little section of wall in the mines that has a bunch of these bluish crystals. There's a glowing spot in the water that you can interact with. Transfer each item into it and out pops a new potion. A brilliant blue potion that shimmers with revitalizing power. I like to store these special potato potions together in my house, so let's go ahead and put that blue one with the others. If you don't already have the golden and the red potato potions, I have another video that you can check out about how to get those. Now on to the orange potato. You're actually going to need to have done a couple of things before you can do this quest. If you've leveled up Scrooge McDuck all the way, you should have a pair of sunglasses in your inventory that he gives you during one of the quests. They're called the Lenses of Shadows. You're going to need to put those on. You'll also need to have opened up all of the realms except the Lion King realm. And you have to find and open up Mickey's secret room inside the castle. If you've got all that done, you're ready to start looking for the orange pebbles. All of these are going to be found in the realms and castle. You'll need these pebbles to craft the orange potato. In Remy's realm, you'll find one pebble in the back on the ground. These things are tiny, so I definitely had to put on my real life glasses in order to see them. In Moana's realm, there are four pebbles. One is right next to the campfire. Another is along the water behind this cluster of rocks. Check the base of the palm trees at the top of the hill. And finally, the one I probably should have found first is right behind the realm entrance. In Wally's realm, there are two pebbles. These are really easy to find. One is next to the crafting table, and the second is just over on the other side near this little tree. In the Toy Story realm, we'll find four pebbles. The first one over by the red backpack. Another one can be found inside the closet. Then all the way across on the right side of the realm, there's a pebble next to this purple book. 
And then you'll find the last one over next to the bed near the paper toys. The frozen realm was probably the hardest one because of the color of the ground and the grass, but there are three pebbles in here. The first one is behind one of these pillars right next to the entrance. The next one is kind of hard to explain. I stumbled into it next to one of these dark stones. I just followed the paths and made sure to keep an eye out next to rocks and at the base of trees until I found it. The last one can be found over by Gale, who I love so much. All right, now that you're done with the realms, head into Mickey's secret room. There you'll find three pebbles pretty easily. The rest are going to be in the main area of the castle. So on the third floor, there's one hiding behind this pillar. On the top floor, there's one between one of the realm doors and a topiary. And the last one is right next to the main door on the first floor. Finally, we have all 20 pebbles and now we can craft the orange potato. Once you've crafted the potato, you'll need to craft that into a potion. Which is not in the potions and enchantments tab where I thought it would be. It's actually in the functional items section. You need the potato and an empty vial to make the electrifying orange potion. This is no regular potato smoothie. It's brimming with electrifying magic. And there you have it. Now we have all four mysterious potato potions and still no solid answer as to why, but I'm very interested to find out more about the potato mystery in the future updates. If you found this guide helpful, do consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing to my channel, and turning on notifications. I make lots of Disney Dreamlight Valley videos, and I'd love to see you back here again. Thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!